With us this morning is Robert De Niro, the superlative actor, winner of an Academy Award for Godfather II, brilliant in a line of films from Mean Street to The Deer Hunter. Now, in a year of generally abysmal movies, he is starring in a film of enormous impact, one of the most impressive films in years, Raging Bull, directed by the honored Martin Scorsese. In this picture, you actually took boxing lessons for months and months. In fact, Jake LaMotta says you're one of the ten best middleweights in the country as, as a result of what you studied. But you really work beyond any other actor that I know of to get yourself inside that character. I didn't know much about boxing before I got started at all. I, start, I started with someone before while we were doing New York, New York. Then about a year before we started shooting, I, I started working with Jake in a, in a little gym on 14th Street. Um, I used to go up there quite a lot, I mean, practically every day. Um, and uh, Jake and Pete Savage and, and a few other people would all be up there and uh, I would work out every day and he taught me uh, taught me how, to, how to, to box and we kept postponing the film so I had more time I didn't want to let it go I didn't want to stop from his earliest appearances in Bloody Mama and the gang that couldn't shoot straight to his triumphs in Godfather 2 Taxi Driver and Raging Bull Robert De Niro has portrayed characters on the underside of life now he is a star in an important new gangster film called Goodfellas. Well, what happened with Stax? Is everything okay? Yeah, I don't worry about that. It's all right. Jimmy, there's feds all over the place. Yeah, so what? Where are they going to go? The particular character that I play was more of a, a, a like a hoodlum's hoodlum than uh, very well respected among all people, among, among all his peers, more and feared by more, most uh, of all his, all his peers. I, I always felt him as like the managing director. He's like, he uh, gets everybody together. They go over the the scheme of things, the plan, and, and uh, but he hires, you know, to get the right people. It's like casting, you know, you get the right, the right group together. Robert De Niro hardly needs an introduction. He's taken home the Oscar for his roles in The Godfather Part Two and Raging Bull. He's currently starring in Godsend, and somewhere in between, he found time to help create the Tribeca Film Festival. The third annual festival launched in New York City over the weekend, and this morning, Mr. De Niro is with us. Hello, how, Hi, are, how you? are you? Nice to have you back. Thank you. Nice to be here. So let's talk about the Tribeca Film Festival. I know you all created it after September 11th. Right. So really, not only, well, really to help all of New York. It has. It's turned out quite well. Tell um, me what you're what proudest of in terms of what you all have been able to do in a short period of time. All of it. I, and, and still, we don't know where it's going to go, but it's going in a good direction. I, I think... Um, the fact that it generated a lot of um, uh, activity downtown, uh, like last year was $47 million, 350,000 people. Uh, the year before it was uh, less than that, and it's just been growing all the time. That's right, I got the chance to sit down in our green room the other day with perhaps America's greatest living actor. This is the first time we're hiring senior interns. So some of our intern questions may not exactly fit your profile, but we're gonna go for it anyway, okay? Fire away. Where'd you go to school? I went to Northwestern. Hey, my brother went to Northwestern. Probably not at the same time. Probably not. He graduated in 2009. Class of 65. <laughs> wow. The character Ben. Is there any Robert De Niro in Ben? Well, I mean, I always say that there's, I use the parts of myself that are applicable to the, the role, if you will. So, yeah, I mean, there are things. And I, I mean, aside from just understanding um, being his age, there are built-in things right there. So you sympathize? You you brought up age. You sympathize with what a guy's going through at that point in his life? Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I do, uh, of course. That's life.